Pray for Doreen. here in the house of the Lord this morning, get ready to receive his word, focus our attention on the Holy Spirit today, just let him have his way in everything we do. Yeah. That's right. Let's pray together. 
Father, we just thank you once again, Lord, for the time that you've given us to be able to come to your house. Lord, what a privilege it is to gather together with those of like fellowship. Lord, to lift up your name and to worship and praise you through song and the things that we do. Lord, just ask that you would have your way here in everything that takes place. We just bring each and every one of these needs before you right now. Father, every request that has been spoken here today, even those that are unspoken, you're aware of each and every one. God, we just ask that you would have your way in every situation. Speak healing to those that are in need of healing. Strengthen and encourage those that are, that are down. Lift them up. Let them know that you're there with them. See them through the things that they're facing. We know that you will. Lord, we just ask that you continue to draw those that are lost, that, that don't know you, those that are seeking you. We know that, Lord, you shall put somebody in front of them, a word that they'll hear. God, let your spirit just be there to draw them, to lead them to where they need to be, to understand who you are. Lord, again, continue to lift up our children and our lost loved ones. Father, just show them your mercy once again. Let your love just surround them and overwhelm them that they know who you are. Have your way here today in everything that's well. We're here to praise you, to honor, to lift up your name. In Jesus' name, we worship you. We thank you for all that you're doing. Lord, all that you've done in our lives, we can never repay you. Have your way, your will be done here today. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God, you see the struggle, Heavenly Father, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for your hand of protection, Heavenly Father, God. Lord, we're asking you today, God, that you would come to Heavenly Father in a mighty way, Lord. Oh, God, we know that you're able, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Touch your sweet Jesus. Father, we just lift her up in prayer. Oh, Lord, touch her. Father, we love her, Lord. We thank you for touching her. Oh, Lord Jesus, forgive her, Lord, Father. Move in your spirit on her, Lord Jesus. Help her, Father, to be, Father, reconciled unto you, Lord. Father, to give up the world, Lord. Father, accept you with all that, all that she has in her mind and her heart, Lord. I thank you for your blessing upon her, Lord. Oh, surround her with that hedge of protection, Lord. Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, that this is a daughter of God. Father, she is your child. Thank you for your touch upon her, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. We thank you and praise you, Lord. Thank you and praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Lift up all the ladies that are here, struggling, pain and suffering. Father, I just ask, Father, bring them peace, Lord. Father, complete peace. Peace that rests in you, Lord. Father, let your grace and mercy endure, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your touch. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your touch, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you and praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
He wanted to see her dead, and he almost got her. God, God, God. God. And we're going to hold to God that God's going to keep her. She's here today. She didn't have to be here because a lot of women would have said, you know what, I messed up, and they would have gone back. But she's here. Amen. It's been a hard week, the things that we've been struggling. I'm telling you. Satan is real. Yes. He's yes. real and he wants to destroy each and every one of us. Yes. But I'm telling you, God is greater. Yes. He's stronger. Yes. And we'll yes. keep our eyes on him. I don't care how many times you messed up. Yes. I don't care how many times you make the same old mistake. You just keep going back to him. He's there. He's there. You know where your help lies. And we gotta keep a hold on him. We gotta keep a hold on each other. I'm telling you, it's real. The battle is real. Amen. But I'm telling you. I don't even know what to do this morning. I just know I'm, I'm thankful for God. I know I'm thankful for this church. I know I'm thankful that Brooke is still alive. I'm more thankful that she's alive than, than upset that she made a bad choice. We all make bad choices. We all make bad choices. But I'm telling you, the love of God, the goodness of God, I am so very thankful. We're going to sing His Thank you, Lord. this morning. Amen. Because we're going to rejoice in the fact yes. that He said, I do Amen. Amen. And I just want us to worship him today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. What's like?
time that struggle comes, God's got something in the water. God's ready to move, but I think he's just preparing us, and I don't know. But this song this morning, I'm looking out across this congregation and faces. I think some of us are searching this morning. I think all of us have been searching in our lifetime. And I think some of us, we got failures, we got flaws, we all do. But we think, God, I've, I've done too much. How could you ever forgive me? I keep going back. I keep doing the same old thing. I keep with the same old struggle. Time to say he's a liar, church. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. And I'm telling you, if you just give it to him this morning, I'm telling you, he wants to touch hearts this morning. He's wanting to surrender to him and say, here it is, God. <laughs> You're what I've been searching for. I've searched the world over and I found you one time but I walked away. Or I found you and I just got tired and thought I can't do this anymore and I'm giving up. I'm telling you, there's nothing better than him. And if you just take that step out, I'm begging you this morning. I don't know, but it's heavy on me. And it's not just one person. Hallelujah, God, I'm having to wait in this place. I'm telling you, just surrender and say, here I am, Lord, I'm yours. Here I am, God, it's yours. I need you. I'm tired of the fight. I'm tired of the struggle. I'm tired of the failures, but I know that you love me. And I'm coming to you this morning with it all, God. Just help me, and I promise you, if you take that first step, there's someone in this church that'll need you. We'll pray with them. We're not going to judge you. We're not going to condemn you. We're going to rejoice in the fact that you're coming for your help because that's what we're here for. We're going to sing that verse, that chorus again. And as we sing, I'm begging you this morning, if God's talking to you, and I know that he is, I can come get you. I can come get you by the hand and bring you to this altar. But you gotta want it. You gotta want him as much as you want in this world. You gotta chase him as hard as you chase that drug. You gotta chase him as hard as you chase that relationship. You gotta chase him as hard as you chase the alcohol. Whatever it is, you gotta chase God. And when you do, I promise he'll meet you there. And I promise that you'll find there's nothing, nothing can compare to the love of God and that feeling that you give you.
felt that the Lord is wanting to accomplish something here this morning. I'm just going to do my best to follow his lead today. I know that there are those that are sitting back or holding back for whatever reason. I'm going to ask you to do what is always difficult. I want you to just, I want you to be honest today. One of the things that the enemy tries to use on us when we're going through stuff, you're the only one that's done this. You're the only one that's experiencing this. Everybody else is super Christian. You're the only one that's not. And he's going to try to hold us back with guilt and regret. And I just feel this here this morning, and again, I, I'm just, I'm just asking you, everyone, please, please be honest. How many here just would say that you just feel like you failed? Uh, what it is that you failed in may be completely different from somebody else. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe a habit that you continue to go back to. Maybe something that you know you should be doing. And you're, what it is is absolutely irrelevant. And it, it doesn't matter. But this is where the enemy will fight you and, and keep us from getting to where we need to be in God. You feel like you failed God in some way, so, somehow. Come on, church, be honest. If that's you today, I want you to come up here to these elders. If that's you today and you, you feel that the enemy is putting that on you, whether it's right or, or not, I'm asking you to come up to the front of this church. I know that God is wanting to set some people free today. I will just obey him. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how or what the situation is. You, you feel that you have failed God in some way. Hey, I'll start it off.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's go for it. Pray for us.
He can't just outright kill you, because if he could, he'd have done it already. But God. Amen. He can't make you choose wrong, but he can try to bring every outside influence imaginable to get you to choose to be wrong. He can't cause you to fail. Literally. The only thing that can cause you to fail, not any outside circumstances, not any forces around you, not any demonic activity, the only thing that can cause you and I to fail is you and I. It's in our power and our ability. Not the ability of our flesh, it's weak. But through Christ in us, through the Holy Spirit in us, we have the ability to succeed and to overcome. Hallelujah. Failure is not an option. It really it shouldn't be. But we've all been there. And the thing that he wants more than anything is to hold us there. Yeah. And here's the thing with that as well. Even if we haven't failed, he still wants you to feel like a failure. That's right. <coughs> Even if you haven't, he wants you to feel like you're a failure. The number one thing, I've told you this before, that I believe that the enemy uses to overcome and defeat us is disappointment, right. discouragement. If you feel like you're a failure, even if you're not, don't take too long of that before you get discouraged. Amen. And discouragement will bring about failure because you, you'll give up. If you get discouraged long enough and you don't get out of that, sooner or later you're going to quit. It just, it just happens. Then you really feel like a failure. And then that, that, that just cycle just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Listen, God will always forgive. Thank you, Lord. He'll always accept us back. Once again, the only thing preventing that is you. Amen. If we'll go to the Lord in, in, in earnest, you know, and, and we know the difference. If we just keep doing something and we, we know we have no intention of stopping and we just keep coming back, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because well, I know i got to do that because if I don't, I'm lost. Uh, there, there's no intent there. That's right. No, there's no heart change there. That's, that's not repentance. We, we understand that. When we're truly repentant, a true broken heart, sorrowful, I, I don't want to be this failure. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be this person. God understands and he sees that too. And we go to him with that and say, Lord, I need you. And I need your help. He's there. Brooke, you're not alone. Every one of us. Every one of us has been there. Some of us, the exact same thing. Some of us, maybe it's something completely different. It doesn't matter. The point is, we've all been through the exact same thing. Yep. They're, they're, if we could see in the spiritual realm for, for a moment, there is literally a war. That's right. A war going on over each and every one of your souls. That's right. It's not cliche. It's real. That's right. Satan is doing everything that he can within his ability. And, and, and there's the key. He's limited in his ability. That's right. But everything within his ability, he's against you. <laughs> and trying to do what he can to destroy you. And the only way he can succeed is that is when we give in to it. Yeah. You give permission. That's right. Come on. Get a hold of that. Come on. You have the ability to, to, to deny or to give Satan permission. Amen. That's the truth. Come on. To do what it is that he desires to do. That lies completely within each and every one of us. So true. Mm -hmm. Satan, you don't have permission. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on. I don't allow you. Yes. Amen. You're not going to get away with this. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit in my life, Amen. by the blood of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
Yeah. I've already overcome you through him. Yeah. You're already defeated through him. You're already a loser through him. I will succeed. I will make it. I will survive. I will be better. We understood the authority and the ability and the power and the words and what we're able to speak. You have that authority through Jesus Christ to proclaim those things. Satan is not all powerful. That's right. Amen. Jesus even he told the, the the disciples, he said, Don't don't glory in the fact that you have power Amen. over demons, that you command them, but glory in the fact that your name is written in the book of life. Amen. 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 So he, he wasn't you know, taking away from that, you say, Be glad that you're saved. Yes. Amen. But the underlying part of that is, hey, I got authority over Satan. Amen. 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 That's right. I have the ability to put him in this place. He doesn't have power over me. Amen. Amen. Through Jesus, I have power over him. Amen. 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 It's time to stand up and be the church and be yes. who God has called us to be. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Take back our lives. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Our families, our children, our church. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to try to preach and outdo what the Spirit has done. It's not possible. Thank you, man. Jesus. So, Thank you, uh, Jesus. I want to hear the word come back tonight, and then if the Lord allows, Amen. I'll preach tonight. Amen. If he wants to move, uh, uh, do what he wants to do again, he'll do that, too. Amen. Amen. All right, we are going to close in a, in a song. So everybody will stand. <coughs> I'm going to ask Sean to come to you. Sure she's going to put on this costume. <laughs> no, we're going to help worship with her. She's singing. She was going to sing this morning, and we want to have her sing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Gail, give me some power in the orange one. Right. 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 The, the burnt ember one, please. <laughs> <laughs>
plate back there on your way out, then we'll, we'll take care of that. Uh, any announcements? Uh, we have praise and worship practice at 5 o'clock tonight. So if you can be here, then we'll be great. Uh, Saturday is Expo. So if you plan on going, let us know so you can figure out the amount of car pool. If you just want to go to the park out there tonight. Let's pray, church. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, for the manifestation of your presence, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, for the Lord bringing change, Lord God, so we can free, Lord. We thank you, God, uh, it's not a burden anymore, Lord God. Uh, we, we lay our burdens down, Lord. Lord. We know that throne of grace that you can take care of us through it all. We ask God that you just go with us as we depart today, Lord. Uh, let us uh, take this light of the gospel out into the world and shine it to those that are lost. We thank you, God, for all you've done for us, Lord. Uh, we just ask God you bring us back to that point in time, Lord. Ready to praise you, Lord. We, we love you so. We thank you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <clears throat>